Hello! So I've found some time to further explore an idea I've had related to letting young people discover more about how computers work and would like to share a preview of how it looks like so far with you. We're in Minecraft here. And as you all know, I can create blocks, hi cow, to um, craft things. A block and another block on top and maybe a glass block instead or, or I don't know, some leaves here and then a glass underneath or something. Hello cow. Now. I like to hack things, um, and hacking really has nothing to do with breaking into other people's computers, but it just means that I like computers to do things for me. So if I wanted to make a line, I can go the classical Minecraft crafting way of doing it like this, but really, why don't I just let the computer draw a line for me, like this? Of course, slash line that I've typed here is not a Minecraft command, but I was able to tell my computer to do it for me over here, by saying command line is something which goes 10 times forward. Um, I can make lines in other uh, shapes. I can actually undo this line here, gone, and perhaps make a line out of glass. And you know what, let's make a much bigger line. Let's make a line out of 100 blocks, all right? Go back over here and we'll make it out of glass, line, bang, and we have a line that's 100 long. We don't because I did that too fast. Now we have a line that's a hundred long. Um, so I walk on this for the fun of it. That's a very long line of a hundred blocks of glass that goes straight through this tree here. Hello, let's go around it over here and into the earth here. All right. Um, now lines, of course, are not that exciting yet. What we can do instead. We can over here perhaps do something a bit bigger and let's say have a square command. So we define a command square which does three times, seven times forward and then turns right. Let me try this out. Go here and we'll make it out of wood this time and say square. Hey, square. Ah, doesn't work. Square. That didn't work yet. Let me see why. I might have to give it a second. And there we go. So we got a, no, we didn't get ourselves a square. Why not? Oh, right. The square, of course, has four sides, not three. Uh, we'll undo the square. Go over here, make it four times. Go over here and make ourselves a square. There we go. All right. So you can see this programming business really isn't that scary after all. There's a few lines here which could still be simplified and removed. Um, but basically, define a command, line, define a command for a square. It does four times something, seven times something inside. This is called a loop. Um, not that big a deal. Um, we can, of course, push this uh, much further than lines and squares. I've actually gone ahead and over here, taken a minute to define how to draw a line and how to make planks out of lines and then maybe a wall, maybe a box, really nothing else than a plank at the bottom and a wall on each side, whoops, and a plank at the top. And then I've thought, hey, a house really is nothing else than um, a box of a certain size. And then I've defined that uh, perhaps I'd like to draw a couple of houses by defining the command houses which draws three houses. Let me show you this. We go over here where there's some space near this cow here. And we'll draw some houses. And bang. We need to actually back up a little bit here. We can see that there's a house here. And there's another house there. And another house behind. I'll go up a bit. You can see them together. All right. Now, when you draw things like this via commands, um, there's often a bit of trial and error, and it's really nice to be able to fix bugs um, in debugging. And I've come up with a way to do this very iteratively. Um, let's say that these houses are perhaps a little too close together. In fact, this third house we are really stuck into the, the other two houses. That's not very nice. So what we can do is 
we can make these houses spaced out more. So we draw the first house here, right? Then we move forward, we do another house, turn over, move a bit and turn, draw a third house. So let's actually just give it a bit more space here. Maybe this should be eight blocks. And also the window on top of our house, there's like a door in here, you can walk into the house here. Whoops, that. And you can see that the idea was to draw a window on top, but it's made out of stone instead of out of um, glass. So what I can do is I can go over here and make this a glass window. Glass window like this. And now if I step back a bit here, if we give it a second, watch how the scene of the buildings over here on the right, whoa, it just changed, right? Fully live. So we give commands and can live redraw the scene in Minecraft. Let's keep this video perhaps um, to this, short and sweet. Um, I, hope what you've, you, I hope you like what you've seen here. I'm hoping to push this a little further and perhaps build a web editor um, and make this available on some servers so you can play with it. If you like this, leave a comment in the video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, tell your friends about it, um, and I'll post more as and if I progress on this. Thanks for watching. Bye.